which you can pur purchase. Now, the pink bristled brushes, bruh. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Hi, how are ya? Not good, Jeffrey. Not good. Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, today's video is somewhat impromptu because I did film a video using the Jeffrey Star and Morphe Brushes Brush and Sponge collaboration as seen here. And it went okay, you know, kind of throughout it. Some brushes were better than others, but I kind of gave it a an overall, you know, I kind of wouldn't recommend getting the bundle. If there was a brush you wanted, I was like, you know, just, just get the one you want rather than the whole thing because there was a bit of inconsistent quality. Then that evening, um, I don't know if you guys know, but I wash my brushes basically every day that I use them. So I went to wash my brushes. If any of you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen this which is a one wash super scraggly puffy disaster this one same as the first when i was washing them i had hair fall out these things are completely deformed and these are the js5 and the js6 i have not washed this one which is the one i used for highlighting in that video but i have a feeling if it reacts to being washed in the same way that these do, it, it, it's not going to be pretty. So I wanted to give a updated new opinion experience review. So let's just get the info out of the way. The first component in this collaboration is a makeup bag going on right here. You open it up like this. This is honestly probably the best thing out of the whole collection, which you can purchase separately, says Morphe and Jeffree Star. Then you have the sponge trio, which includes one of these big old bad boys and and then two in the little, it's the exact same sponge, just in the mini format. The brush set does come with seven brushes and it retails for $49. Is currently sold out, though I know that on his Snapchat and his Twitter, he's all like, oh, I'm talking to Morphe about restocking. And I'm just thinking, it's Morphe. There is no talking. There is no discussion. They're going to restock that. So you are getting three brushes that are made out of this nice, super soft synthetic material. This one is the JS3, the JS1, and the JS2. And also in the pink synthetic material is this eyebrow brush, which I will say, off the bat, this is my new favorite eyeshadow brush. It feels cheap as all get out, but I absolutely love how my brows turn out when I use this. Then you are getting three of these with the other synthetic material. This one I used as a highlighter brush, and these two I used on my eyes. This one, performance-wise, was... <sighs> It was okay, you know, it blended it pretty nicely, you know, it picked color up. And then this one wasn't as good as this one. It just kind of, it's like it just didn't blend as good. This one I did like for highlighting. I felt like it really, really smooth and blended out my highlighter nicely into my blush. So there was like a nice seamless transition when sometimes when I do it, it can be like highlighter, blush, and there's like an obvious contrast between the two. I know that you can buy these brushes separately. I know a bunch of them are sold out right now. But y'all, my main problem is this. When you have a company, Morphe Brushes, they have brushes in their name, they do brushes, that's kind of what they, their super inexpensive eyeshadows and their super affordable brushes were kind of what put them on the map. They were like, oh, they're as good as MAC, they're so great, they're affordable. When you are a company that has your whatever literally based on brushes, why, why is this happening. And this is not the only offender. I am not very familiar with Morphe brushes. I am not a brush aficionado. It is probably what I know the least about in terms of makeup. But I bought their highlighting brush 
after one wash, this is what she looked like. Was it a very pretty picture? I also got some Morphe brushes from Octoly, which are like hideously, hideously cheap. Like instead of being like AliExpress, super soft, whatever material, they're like this scratchy, stiff, dense straw that when you're using it, you're like jab, jab, jab. There is like no give to the bristles. They don't blend out. They make, you know, your lines aren't smooth and blown out. They're just kind of patchy and draggy and nasty. The pink bristled brushes are lovely. They're soft. They're smooth. They have a nice amount of give to them. This one here is fantastic for doing like a light wash of blush. It's also good for dusting away that under eye. This one here is good for kind of stamping powder and then like removing it as well. I'm kind of not sure what this one is. Maybe I'm stupid and don't know how to use fancy brushes, but this one I have been using for highlighter and it works nicely for that. And like I said, this one here minus the spoolie, I'm probably just going to cut that off and file it down because I absolutely love this as a eyebrow brush. Usually when I go in on this one of my brows, it's very hard for me to get a nice, crisp, clean line, and this one gave it to me perfectly. But then you enter these. Part of my problem is, is consistency throughout on a whole. Now, I did not watch his video on these, but I feel like it's kind of a disconnect when you've got these pink bristled ones with a very, you know, specific bristle and texture and whatever. And then you have these ones that are in the same collection that have a very distinct and different bristle and texture. It is more of that dense, pokey, scratchy. I mean, part of the problem I have with this is like, okay, you've got this. And then when you go out to like, like you dipping it in and you're just kind of like doing it like that, then the color, some of the stray, you know, the fibers are going to be picking up color, distributing it not where you want to. This one just on a whole was bad. It just, it didn't blend nicely. It didn't give me that smooth, beautiful transition. And this one was okay. It was a highlighter brush. I haven't washed it yet, and I feel like it's going to do the exact same thing that these did. And the frustrating thing, other than the inconsistent quality control and the fact that Morphe is constantly pushing us these things and they create subpar products that we buy, but they don't hold themselves accountable. The frustrating thing is like, this is what this one looks like after one blinking wash. If I continue to wash this, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. And I did see, I saw that Smoky Glow, I saw her on Twitter. She commented that hers had done this. And I believe it was Georgia Harris who then commented and said, you can take some like aloe vera and reform them. And that's great and fantastic. And I'm like, but, but if you're buying a product, you shouldn't have to do something extra to make it okay. It should be fine on its own. Then there is the sponge trio. I did use this. I don't know if you're supposed to use it for foundation or not, but I did try it for foundation. It was okay. It is a hideously dense, like super dense. You gotta work to squeeze this thing. It's like a really intense stress ball. Not good for foundation. Was very, very nice, however, for setting that under eye, which I think is what this sponge is for anyway, so I could just be stupid. So it was very nice for that. I would say don't bother with getting the trio with these because I feel like mini sponges are like unnecessary. They puff up a little bit more than this, and I'm always like, oh, oh, that'll be great for blending out my concealer or whatever. And I'm like, no, I just end up blending out my concealer with this bit here or with my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion sponge or my Beauty Blender. I never find myself reaching for a mini sponge to do anything. That could just be me. I could just be totally lame. But if they do sell this separately and you want a good sponge, that's great for giving you a nice flawless flawless airbrushed look with your setting powder. This is nice. But overall, it's just, it's, just, mm, I feel like, I 
feel like. It is just so problematic and frustrating when you get any product, honestly. But in this case, this brush collection, which is super hyped up, it sold out in like an hour. Jeffree Star was all like, woo! And, and yay to him, congrats to him for being able to have this collaboration and have more money poured into his bank account. Yay him. But then when I'm stuck with like these brushes that some are good and some are not good, like, I'm just gonna come out and say it. These two aren't even like, okay, I would not, I would say don't buy these, just don't skip them. And I would probably say the same for this because there are plenty of other affordable highlighter brushes by e.l.f., by, I got one from Shop Miss A, um, Milani has one that's fantastic, that are cheaper and better quality. If you're interested in any of these and they have them sold as singles, buy these. Do not purchase the bundle because you will be left with subpar brushes, some that are good, some that are bad. But even then, I honestly, I honestly can't in good conscience even recommend you guys purchasing this because I feel like from here on out, I am probably not going to be dipping my toes into anything more Morphe. Mostly because my experience with them, which hasn't been a huge amount, I don't have a lot of Morphe products, but their quality control is so inconsistent. Like I have, all the eyebrow brushes I've tried from them have been great, but like these ones here, I got, like I said, I got a whole little set from Octoly because I wanted to try them out. And all the ones that I've used so far are just so meh. I mean, I've got real techniques. I have these. These are the, like, I don't know, friggin' crease brush from Wet n Wild. I have used and abused and washed these things. No, whatever -y. Soft, beautiful, supple, but still picks up color and blends everything out to a dollar. A dollar. It's pink. It's pink. You know, I got brushes from e.l.f. I've got real techniques. I've got, I mean, if you're gonna, if you're gonna splurge, I would say it brushes, um, by, for Ulta are so good. If it cosmetics weren't problematic, I would own so many of those. You know, even this friggin' Beauty and the Beast one from Walgreens from a brand that's probably not even branded is better than these. So honestly, I'm just gonna say don't bother. Take your money, even if you friggin' love, okay, if you love Jeffree Star, buy the makeup bag or buy one of the pink brushes. If you're just looking at it in a way of investing in brushes, Take that money, go to Walmart, buy you some real techniques, go to Target, go to Ulta, get you your points, buy some real techniques, buy some Elf, buy some Milani, because those are better, less expensive, and just, just less problematic. I just cannot in like complete anything say that to say to recommend, yes, go out and buy this, except this is great. This is great. This is fantastic. But there are other eyebrow brushes out there, and there are other eyebrow brushes that don't have a really stupid spoolie attached to the end. So on a whole, this whole collection was just very, very underwhelming. And especially since you're dealing with a company that really touts their quality and their affordable products, it's just like, I, I haven't really been blessed with the quality that they've been selling. I have some of their eyeshadows. Some of their eyeshadows are okay. Not the most amazing. Not the worst I've ever tried. But when it comes to these brushes, it's just been like dud after dud after dud. So on restock, I recommend just taking your money, put it somewhere else, get you your points at Ulta, Buy some real techniques. That'll be a better experience. You won't have to worry about the site crashing multiple times. Whilst you are trying to order and you'll get better quality brushes. All right, guys, there was that review. Kind of disappointing. No, very disappointing. I mean, come on. You'd think at this point in the game with as much money as they're making from influencers pushing their code and pushing their product, you'd think they'd have enough money to invest in making some decent products. But 
no, we're just going to continue shilling out the same crap over and over again, throwing you an occasional good bone while just still peddling nasty, gnarly bleh, brushes. I mean, it literally feels like straw. But if your opinion is different, if you guys bought these brushes, I know one of my subscribers said that his went all like after washing them. So yes, I had the same experience as you. Yay me. But I'm always open to hearing different opinions. Maybe I'm just stupid and don't know how to do makeup and don't know how to use brushes. But thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. And as always, keep it real. Mwah.